This video features the use of dangerous tools, hazardous chemicals, and sharp knives. Viewer discretion is advised. Your colour's nice, James. Pity about your face, though. <laughs> <laughs> we best be careful, James. The weather's getting worse. for an important engine. It's Thomas! Don't worry, James. I'm here to help. I'm ready. So am I! As ready as I'll ever be! Thank you everyone for watching this little remake clip of James and the Trouble with Trees. I'll be uploading a full behind the scenes video detailing how I made the tree and some of the sets, but until then, please enjoy this preview behind the scenes time lapse.
and now a video you may have already seen, the making of James the Red Engine. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider joining my Patreon, link in the description. There are two 00 slash HO scale models of James available, the Hornby version and the Bachman version. The Hornby James is based on the Triang LMS 3F, featuring modified moulding around the smoke box and the addition of a pony wheel. Interestingly, the Reverend Wilbur Audrey used this exact model as the basis for his Mark II James. In contrast, the Bachman James, like the rest of their range, is entirely new tooling, designed to be more faithful to the character's appearance in the television series. However, being one of the first models created in their line, it suffers from some proportional inconsistencies, a common issue among the earlier releases. This is particularly noticeable when compared to Batman's Edward, who, despite being intended as a similarly sized engine, is modelled with slightly different proportions. To improve on this, I began, as I often do, by 3D printing a new shell for James, using a design by the LBSC Thomas. The shell is carefully crafted to be proportionally accurate when placed alongside the Backman Edward model. As a result, I paired my James model with Edward's tender and chassis to maintain consistency and ensure a more authentic and proportionally accurate look for James. I removed the original funnel and cut a hole large enough to accommodate a Sooth 22 smoke unit. After that, the model was sanded, primed and painted in James's iconic bright red. The improvement in proportions had become very evident, especially when compared to my work in progress Edward model, where James now fits better in terms of scale. The next step was to remove the support bars we had added to the 3D model during the printing process. These helped prevent warping. I then modified the chassis by trimming it to fit snugly under the 3D printed shell and to make space for the smoke unit. Additionally, I 3D printed a custom funnel specifically designed to comfortably house the smoke unit. The model was rewired with a DCC decoder and I conducted a quick test to ensure everything functioned properly. The shell came with pre-drilled holes for the handrails, but after painting I had to carefully reopen them to prepare for attaching the handrail knobs. Once that was completed, I moved on to the final detailing. The lamp, buffers, brake pipe and a whistle were made by James Trainos, and then I also added screw links by Hornby and lamp irons which are just pins. I applied black vinyl lining and gold boiler bands. To complete the transformation, I did some weathering using black humbral weathering powder to give him a more lived in look. I also acquired some fantastic custom faces from Rexecutions, which bring the model to life. After all of these steps, James was finally ready for filming. Thank you.